morning it's a cold foggy rainy morning and we're up uh, this is spot Jeff brought me to I've never been here before so this is all new to me and uh, he's got the upper hand on me because he's been here quite a few times so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this one off today or not so which way are we going Okay, well, we're going to kind of wander around and take a look at the area first, and then uh, we'll do a little scratching. It's pretty obvious that there's gold here, because you can see here that they've worked this area really hard. This is probably going to be one of my shorter videos, because uh, i got to cover the camera up between each range, so the camera's going to be covered up quite a bit today. So let's go see if we can find some gold. Well, we're down at the creek now, and uh, periods of rain are keep coming through. As you can tell, we got some pretty good flow on this creek, so we're definitely going to be working the banks. Uh, not sure what happened to Jeff. He he got ahead of me, so we're gonna we're gonna go downstream a little bit, see if we can catch up with Jeff. Luckily, the rain stopped again. Now, since I've never been to this place before, the first thing I like to do is just do a couple pans of gravel. Just kind of get a feel for the gravel, get an idea of uh, the what's the heavy gravels, uh, so I know what to look for, because each creek is, you know, is, is a little different. So I'm gonna, this spot right here, we've got some exposed bedrock, so I'm gonna get down as close to the creek as I can without drowning and uh, work a couple pans of gravel. That way I can uh, you know, get a feel for uh, what we're looking for. Well, I've been exploring around for uh, a bit now. Um, I don't like the bedrock. The bedrock is just too soft. I don't know if you can see here, but it's, uh, it's almost like a shale. Um, you need I like, I like a little harder bedrock, something that uh, gives gold more time to accumulate. So I'm going to keep working upstream a little bit and uh, see if we can find a little better looking bedrock. Okay, we've got us a spot here. It's still got soft bedrock. I still don't like the bedrock, but it's a little more worn, which is good. Uh, there's a couple of things that attract me to this spot right here. One of them is this tree. The tree's been here a while, but I don't know if you can notice, but it's been beat up pretty good. So it, it's getting some impact. But we have, right on the other side of the camera, we got a rock outcropping that's kind of creating a low pressure zone right here. And we know that there's still enough flow to beat the tree up. So that allows, that's enough flow to bring gold into this area. And we do have a few cracks and crevices here. The one thing that worries me is this area gets a lot of people come down here to work. So I'm thinking that the obvious crevices have probably been worked over pretty good. We're going to have to look for the less obvious stuff if we want to find gold, or at least that's what I'm thinking, because like I say, I don't know a thing about this spot. First time here. Okay, well, I got a couple of cracks over here. I haven't done a test pan yet, so let's open this up and at least do a couple of test pans. Okay, the first spot I want to work is this area right in here. And this may be a little too obvious as a crevice, because it's not a bad looking crevice. Uh, so we're gonna find out. And yes, I did bring my green pan because I'm in a new spot. Okay, first thing I notice is the gravel is not packed. 
which is bad. All right, we're still going to do a test pan. Well, we managed to pick up one really small piece. Let me show you. And if you can see it right there. And it looks like there's a couple other real small ones. I think we'll uh, keep moving, try to find a little better spot. This bedrock is still, still too soft. Kind of walking around here. And you can tell, I'll give you a little better shot, but you can tell that this area has seen a lot of work. Uh, I'm not sure when they've been in here, but I have found uh, some, uh, like the tops of old uh, cans and stuff that were definitely late 1850, mid 1860s range. So they were in here pretty early and they, they worked it pretty good. And another thing is, is we are up, I'm guessing, 1,500, 2,000 feet elevation. And uh, this is kind of like uh, a temperate area. So the uh, ladybugs come up here, they, they swarm and they winter up here. And you got to be kind of careful where you walk because uh, there's clumps of them everywhere. I'll show you those. Here we have a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, a gaggle of uh, ladybugs. Now I don't know how well this is showing it, but the ground is literally all that red is ladybugs. You have to be very careful where you walk. Just finished lunch, and it's been big uh, bands of rain been coming through. It's been raining pretty hard. It's slacked off right now. Uh, Jeff's out there walking around with an umbrella. Who takes an umbrella mining? So if it stays like it is now, we're going to head back out and find a little more gold. Now, if we get uh, much more rain, we're going to have to get out of here before this road gets too bad. So hopefully that was it and we can find some more gold. I've hiked up stream quite a bit. I did find Jeff. He's about 50 feet behind me here digging out a crevice. But out of all the spots I looked at uh, so far, I kind of like this spot the best. Now, none of this bedrock appeals to me. It's all too soft. But this gravel on top, this is ancient gravel here. This is out of an old channel. I really like the gravel, so there's gold here. And the old timers, they dug up all that bench. But now if you look upstream here, you'll see like right in here, you'll see there's a large rock outcropping. Then right over here, there's a low point. Well, we're pretty much right in line with that creek. So you know at high water, it's running over that. And that's right in the center of the creek. So there's a good possibility as it goes over that, that rock outcropping, it's going to be uh, depositing gold on the back side of that, in the low pressure zone. So we're going to go up there and do a little scratching around, see if we can find some gold there. Hopefully get something a little, little more size than what we've been finding. All right, let's go up and do some digging. Right in through here is a low point of where that water is going to travel. Now being this area is so close to the road and so heavily worked, I'm going to just go ahead and assume that this has been worked to death. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up a little bit and get into the gravel that's not so obvious. We'll work some of this, this upper stuff that hopefully people have missed. Just finished two pans 
out of this area. Like I say, I, I didn't dig in the low spots. I dug on what looked like catches to me out of the main low area because I think it's been, been work. But this is our best pan to date. Now this is uh, two pans. I didn't clean it in between the two pans. But we're definitely in a better spot. Let me show you. And now you can see here we got all kinds of iron. We got this old nail. But that's the best bread of gold we've got yet. Well, I'm back in the truck and it's official. I'm a bigger wimp than Jeff. I'm soaked. And I'm sure he is too, but he's still out there doing his last pan. Uh, I did pick up a couple more pieces, but it's just, it hasn't quit raining at all now. So I think we're pretty much done for today. So as soon as Jeff gets back, I think we're gonna get out of here while the getting's good. We are both soaked and we're taking advantage of the, uh, I think we're in the eye of the hurricane. Because it's not raining right now, but it's dark <laughs> everywhere you look. So we're calling it a day because the wind's starting to come up. And when you're already soaked, it gets cold real quick. We, have, we didn't find a lot of gold, but we both are going home with gold. So we'll uh, once we get home, we'll weigh that up, see how we did. I thought you were going to go bare. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. We'll see you back at the house. Back at the house, and you guessed it, it's the next morning. Well, I got that gold all cleaned up, ready to be weighed, and I'm really kind of curious to how we did. So what do you say we throw it on the scale and uh, see how we did? Well, let's see how we did. Looks like we're going to settle in on 0.2 grand. What? Well, okay. I'm okay with that weight. Not a lot, but what the heck. We're right in the middle of a monsoon there, so uh, I'm taking it. Uh, that area, uh, I'm thinking there's some good potential around there. Uh, the gravel, I would love the gravel in the in the old bench i'm like i said in the video i'm not real uh, impressed with the bedrock but if a guy can find some decent bedrock i'm thinking he can find some decent gold uh so there's definitely a another trip up there coming i'm not real happy about the ease of access which you know that equates to a lot of people going to be going up there you know a lot of people have been going up there so we're going to have to do a little hiking, I think, to get into better gold. Well, today's your lucky day because I got to cut this short and get to work. So if you're not already a subscriber and you enjoyed the video, what the heck, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Right now, I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day.